All right, we're going to get into a little bit of ethical hacking and basically just kind of go over an overview of a tool that I like to use. It's out there available to everybody. It's a uh, website, it's open source, called Shodan.io. What this website does is allow you to search for vulnerable devices all across the world. You can imagine that there's hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of vulnerable devices, and more and more are coming every day, especially in the new world where everything's connected to the net. What I especially like about Shodan is that you can use this tool up here, essentially like a Google search engine, to search for what you're interested in taking a look at. What I searched was power plants. I'm just interested in seeing what's out there. So you might get some power plants, you might get some energy websites, things of that nature. But let's see, as you can see, there's plenty of them. You can narrow this down. Results wise, you only got 14, but you can narrow this down, as you can see, by a country. You can narrow it down by top services, top organizations, things like that. We're just going to scroll down and take a look and see what's out here. Somebody got some GoDaddy.com stuff going on. Bid folk limited stuff. So let move one of the documents. See if we can see anything fine. Now, the only way we would try to figure out whether these are related to power plants, if they don't say it, is kind of looking where it says location. This is somewhat related to a power plant's website, so it's probably some company that does electric solar energy. Well, actually, it says nucleargepower.com. 302 found, but we're not going to mess with that. Um, what else do we see? We see a company called Renergy Power Plants. Uh, I've heard of them before. It's a uh, solar company out in uh, Romania. We're not now. All right, let's take that as an example. Get using this information that we have from Shodan, we already have an IP address. So what we could do is use some of the tools we have through Kali Linux and just any any of the various tools that we have, and scan and see what ports are vulnerable. See what OS is on there. If if it's a uh, Windows machines, then we could probably run an exploit. Let's, for example, such as this Bluegate RDP and try to remote desktop into it. You know, there's a lot of things we could do. Now, we're not going to do any of those things because that's illegal. This is uh, just educational. That's all it is. It's just informative, man. You know, we like to inform each other as a as a community of uh, hackers and IT security people. Let's do another search and check it out. What well, this actually should be alarming to people. What information is just available out there for free, just to be used as tools for either good or either bad. So when we let's go narrow this down to the United States and see what computers are out there. Let's see what we can see. Now, when we narrow it down to computers, almost right off the bat, we get more information, right? Like, look at this guy. Hmm wide open. Why can we see this? Now, I bet you that this is an EC2 instance, but I also bet you that he has a, clearly, 3389 is open, and this is somewhat vulnerable. We're not going to mess with any of these at all, because that is illegal. Again, do not, unless you have permission, start fooling around and scanning any of these people's uh, properties and things of that nature. That is wrong. It's illegal. You won't want anybody to do it on your network, so don't do it. Do not, do not, do not. You can get yourself in a whole lot of trouble. As you can see, after we narrowed it down to the United States, we can also narrow it down to the top cities. And those top cities seem to be Canyon County, San Jose, Los Angeles, and Phoenix, Ashburn. Um, there's a lot of cloud companies. A lot of people use cloud companies like Equinox that are out of Ashburn and stuff like that. So you see quite a bit of that activity there. And at Dallas, Ashburn, all, Ashburn, Virginia is where that is, I believe. I mean, this is just very, very interesting. Let's do another search based on something we saw recently in the news. And you have to excuse the background noise. Uh, Amazon bought a company called Ring. It appears that those uh, doorbell camera rings were vulnerable. People were hacking them um, hmm. in, a, in a joking way, but can also become even more malicious than just talking to people at that house. Let's see, can we find some rings? And I'll tell you how to recognize them. One way, clearly, is they usually say continuous integration and deployment. They usually have that. Well, you can see their X-Frame option says deny, but you do get 
the uh, IP address. So that's a little information right there. Now we know some of these ports on these have to be open in order for them to uh, in order for them to work. In general, we're not going to, although it is very tempting, to throw some of these IP addresses into a uh, a map and map them out. Mortgage mark has a ring. All these guys have a ring. So as stated, this is just a tool to uh, kind of poke around the world. And this should be used educational. You see how much vulnerability is out there. So if you're uh, in the IT security world, um, warn your people, educate everybody, and, and harden your systems, man, because it's all out there. As soon as you touch the Internet, you're out there, you're vulnerable, and you're open. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments or reach out to secnetlab at gmail.com. Make sure you visit secnethosting.com.